Hey everyone and welcome to this video. Today I'll be showing you a very cool trick regarding structural members. As you can see this pipe has been made uh, using the structural member which you can find in the weldment tab and it's basically on a sketch which is a straight line and uh, then I basically use the pipes option in the type tab under the ISO category and selected the size which is out of these three options. So here what I'm going to tell you is that you can customize this cross section on your own and therefore you can have whatever dimension you require so now let's take a look at how you can achieve this so click on file go to new click on part now what you got to do is just make up a sketch in any of the planes to the dimension you require so suppose say I want an outer dimension of 100 mm and the distance between these two concentric circles to be 4 mm so click on exit search now an important thing is when you want to save this file you need to first of all click on this sketch or otherwise this technique won't work so go to file click on save as option and type in the dimensions which you have already put up in your drawing now you go, need to go to desktop go to my computer Click on the drive where you have sold uh, your SOLIDWORKS. Go to the program files. Go to SOLIDWORKS COP. SOLIDWORKS. Go to language. Click on English and finally go to the development profiles. Go to ISO. Click on pipe. And then save this as an SLD FLP file. Now save it here. Now if you go to your uh, original document and go to the structure member option again. As you can see here the 100 cross 4 dimension also comes up. And if I just edit this feature and click on the 100 cross 4 dimension. As you can see this pipe gets to your customized pipe. And another important thing what I would like to mention is the fact that uh, in some cases what may happen is uh, that you won't be able to change up the options that are there in these profiles that is the computer kind of restricts your entry to these profiles so in order to change that go to properties go in security and here uh, change permissions by clicking on edit and uh, you need to select the following options in these ways there might be uh, some options that have been already selected so you need to deselect these options and then click on ok and therefore you will be able to change whatever changes you want to have so that's it thanks for watching feel free to leave comments below and subscribe to this channel if you like i'll be bringing a lot more great videos ahead thanks